that's why we read uh, Proverbs chapter 6, because that is the sixth day of May. All right. So now, so I'm going to give you the questions. Then I'm going to go over these guys. Go to Proverbs chapter 6. Number one, first of all, let me read you the verse. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 119, uh, verse 18, it says, Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. So before you even sit down and read the Bible, stop, pray, bow your head and say, Lord, open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Now, this book is a treasure. And so everybody that goes in here looking for treasure is going to find something different. But here's what you got to do. You got to go look. You got to go search. I think the um, quarantine is revealing a couple of things. It's revealing, revealing your character and it's re revealing your spiritual condition. A lot of us are not uh, deeply rooted and grounded in the word of God. So Psalm chapter 119 verse 19 says, open down mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Psalms chapter 119 verse 127 says, make me. None of us likes to be made to do something. But the Bible says, make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. When God makes, when you say, God, make me learn something, then you've got something to tell. And by the way, preaching is not for preachers. Preaching is for everybody. Mm. And this book is for everybody. Amen. So let me go because pastor is going to come on here on the FBC site. And I don't want to uh, overlap with him. But let me go through the seven things. All right. Here we go, about two minutes. Number one, ask yourself, who is this chapter written to? All right? So, Frankie, I want you to read uh, verse 1, 2, and 3 of, of Proverbs chapter 6. All right? <clears throat> My son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend go humble thyself and make sure thy friend okay so who is this chapter written to frankie who's it written to my son the my son. son if you look at proverbs chapter one proverbs chapter two three four five six and seven it's all written to my son so question number one is who is this chapter written to question number two is there a promise for me is there something in here that if i obey god is going to bless me Number three, is there a lesson for me? What lesson am I learning from here? Number four, is there a blessing for me? Is there something that if I follow the Lord, he's going to bless me? If there's something that I stay away from, he's going to bless me. Number five, is there a command to obey? Is God specifically saying, do this, don't do this, go here, don't go there? Number six, is there a sin to avoid? By the way, not only a sin, but is there a person to avoid? Frankie, read verse 2 again, because I think here it tells you a person to avoid. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. All right, read verse 3. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself, when thou art come into the hand of thy friend. Okay, so there it's telling, is there a sin to avoid or a person? And right there it says your friend. Mm. It says, be careful. It says, when you are delivered to your son, come to the presence of your friend, I'm sorry, not son, friend. He says, be careful, all right? So let me go through the uh, question. Is there a sin or a person to avoid? Is there a new thought to carry with me? Is there something I'm gonna go all day long thinking, man, that is good. A lot of times I'll get a verse and I'll repeat that verse over and over and over and over in my head. So let me go through these again, all right? Who is this chapter written to? In this example, it's written to a son. Is there a promise for me? We're going to find one. Is there a lesson for me? Yes, be careful with your friends. Is there a blessing for me? We'll find one. Is there a command to obey? Is there a sin to avoid or a person to avoid? We read that there is. Is there a new thought to carry with me? All right, so Adrian, I want you to answer number, number two. Is there a promise for me? Yes. All right, what verse? Let me look for it. Um, I need some help. We went through this, man. I heard. <laughs> what is the question, sir? Is there a promise for me? Yeah, the answer is yes. Okay, so let's go to verse 6 and see if there's a promise there. Go to it. Go 
Yes, go to the ant, thou slayer. Consider her ways and be wise, because um, she gathers food over the harvest. And right, the so look at verse she, 8. Verse 8 is the promise. Provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. Okay, so it's talking about a worker. And if you work when everybody else is sleeping and, and, when it, and you harvest, then you're going to have plenty later on. So that's the promise. Hard work produces a good harvest. All right? Now, is there a lesson for me? There are so many lessons in this chapter. This chapter's talk to young men. Let's go over to, um, oh, let me see. Go to verse, um, I'll tell you what, let's go to verse 16. Is there a lesson for me? All right, why don't you read that, Frankie? <clears throat> These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Okay, so stop right there. What's the lesson? We know that there's seven things that God hates. We know what they are. What's the lesson? So what are the seven things? Here, here they are. A, a proud look, pride, a lying tongue, and the hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth the wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Now, there's two things God says. First, number one, is I hate pride. Number, the last one, he says, I don't like when Christians go against other Christians. Be careful. You can talk about anybody, but don't talk about a fellow brother. Mm -hmm. Is there a lesson for me there? Yes. God hates seven things. All right? So is there, I'm going to go through the, through, through the questions again. Write them down. Who is this chapter written to? It's written to a young man. Is there a promise for me? Yes. If you work hard in, uh, if you work hard in harvest, you're going to have plenty. Is there a lesson for me? Yes. God hates seven things. Is there a blessing for me? We discussed that one, right? No, I said, uh, is there a blessing? I'll tell you what. Let's go to uh, find uh, another one. Um, let's go to verse uh, 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a fraud. And, and read down to verse 13. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. I'm sorry, I skipped ahead. That's a, that's a, is there a sin to avoid? Yes. Having a forward heart. Having someone, somebody that seeks mischief. Okay? And we're just pulling things out of this chapter. It's such a good chapter. Matter of fact, if you will go down to verse uh, 19, why don't you read that, um, Adrian? Verse 19, 20, and 21. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Is there a command for me to obey? Yes. Forsake not the law of my father and my mother. Is there a new thought to carry with me? Yes. I mean, you can pull anything out of here. Um, I like this one. If you'll go down, uh, let me see, um, verse 24. Would you read that, Frankie? Is there a thought to, to carry with me? To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Yeah, here's my thought. Young men, be careful of young women. The old ones, too. Amen. And young women, be careful of young men. men. Or older men. And older men, too. So that's the thought. So I'm going to go through these. And if you, if you read your Bible, don't be afraid to do this. Grab a pen, highlighter, and highlight your Bible. You know, um, the iPad is highlighted. My Bible is highlighted. Don't be afraid to write in here. I've got notes written all over about blessings, about uh, in verse 6 talks about uh, uh, the, the young men and young lady and avoiding adultery and fornication. But don't be afraid to mark up your Bible. Now, Amen. for the last time... I'm going to go through it again. Who is this chapter written to? My sons. Is there a promise for me? There is. You've got to look for one. Is there a lesson for me? There's many. Someone about pride, the wrong crowd, women. Is there a blessing for me? Yes. If you work hard, you're going to uh, have work hard. You're going to have a good harvest. Is there a command to obey? Yes. To keep the command of your mother and father. Is there a sin to avoid? Many. From adultery to the, to the wicked. To, to those that sow discord among the brethren? Is there a new thought to carry with me? Yes. And, and the, the new thought is that we just talked about. You know that sometimes God is a jealous God. And just over and over in your head say, you know what? I want to do everything that God is proud of 